If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before moving on. In this question, we have a charged particle moving in a magnetic field with velocity perpendicular to the field. In fact, we have two of those charged particles. And in that scenario, the following equation would apply. Now, in this equation, R represents the radius of the circular path that the charged particles are following. M is the mass, V is the speed of the charge, Q is the charge itself, and then B is the strength of the magnetic field. Now, the fact that there's a radius present in the equation implies that both particles will move in circular paths. We can represent the circular paths of the two charged particles by a black semicircle and then a red semicircle. One charged particle will travel farther than the other, so the black semicircle is shown to have a larger radius. And what we're actually looking for in this question is this distance right here. We can call that distance delta d because it turns out to be the difference in diameters of these two circles. Let's take a closer look at the diameters to see that. So we'll notice that we've labeled the diameter of the black circle as 2 times the radius of the black circle, and that we've attached a subscript of 238 to indicate the mass of the heavier particle. Notice that the heavier the mass, the greater the radius, and then hence the greater the diameter. The red circular path has a diameter of 2 times the radius of the lighter particle's path. Our objective, of course, is to find this distance marked in gray, and so to do that, we're simply going to subtract the diameter of the black circular path by the diameter of the red circular path. So we've set up that calculation over here, and we'll notice that there is a factor of 2 common to both terms, so we can actually factor it out. And then for the radius of the particle whose mass is 238, we can substitute in this expression right here and then also for the particle whose mass is 235. So notice in both expressions we have an mv over qb, but what we've done is we've strategically colored the v, q, and b in a, in a separate color because the speed, charge, and magnetic field for each particle is the same. So in fact, we're going to be able to factor out this v over qb term outside of the parentheses. So let's go ahead and factor that out. And then at this point of the problem, we're ready to plug in the known values. Notice that the speed of each particle was given in the question. The magnetic field strength was also given in the question. Q is known because they said that the particles are singly ionized, or in fact, singly charged. And so that means that the charge on each particle is going to be the standard value of the elementary charge, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. The masses are given by these superscripts right here. Those units are in AMUs, or atomic mass units, so we're going to have to make a conversion into kilograms, and we'll show that conversion once we plug in all the known values. So here is everything plugged in. Again, notice the conversion factor right here. We have the fact that one AMU, which is symbolized by the letter U here, is equivalent to 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27th kilograms. So that conversion is necessary to put the mass into standard units. We can now pick up our calculators and type this all in. And we get approximately 3.11 times 10 to the minus 2. And since everything was plugged in with standard units, the distance will come out in a standard unit of meters. And then, of course, if we needed to convert that into centimeters, we note that one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. And so when we perform that conversion, we get approximately 3.11 centimeters. So this turns out to be the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember, you can send in your own question to this email address and I will do my best to answer it on YouTube.